generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Did you ever wish that you had your own personal handyman? Do you ever think to yourself, whom do I call when my faucet leaks or I need my screen fixed? Just Fix It Inc. can be that company for you. Looking for someone who is professional, honest, knowledgeable, and reliable? Someone who is licensed, bonded, and insured. Someone who is responsive to your needs, regardless of whether your job is small or large. Although many things have changed in technology, in politics, even the weather, some things were better in the days gone by. Many service companies today are not quick to return phone calls or give estimates on a timely basis. Sometimes it takes even up to three or four phone calls to get replies. Just Fix It, Inc. may be the solution to your household and, and or company needs. We specialize in fabrication, repairs, remodeling, and fix up both interior and exterior. We have been in business since 2005 and have serviced many, many clients throughout the Chicagoland area. We will be your special someone who exceeds your expectations. Plumbing, carpentry, electrical, flooring, painting, etc. We are your one-stop shop for all your repair and remodeling needs. Our reputation is our most valued asset, and we will do whatever is necessary to maintain our excellent reputation. Give us a call today and let us know how we can assist you. No job too big or small, we do it all. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's broadcast of Lady Senator Basketball here on WWSR and on West Washington live stream. We are here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do take on the Crawford County Wolfpack tonight. Wolfpack come in with a record of 16-3. and um, They are leading the PLAC Conference. This win tonight would guarantee them at least a share of that conference championship where the Senators um, have struggled a little bit in the PLAC, so they look to play the spoiler tonight. Senators come in 10-7, and seven. Crawford County, like I said, 16-3. and three. Senators on a little bit of a slide over the past two games. They did drop one to Rock Creek and also lost a heartbreaker to Trinity Lutheran in that three-overtime game where they were defeated 83-79. Senators looking to get back on the, the winning side of the ta of the score chart um, with the game tonight with Crawford County. Their schedule doesn't get any easier because they have Paoli and then Brownstown and Borden, both of those teams, um, you know, powerhouses of their own. The Senators coached by Kristen Messamore. She is 18 and 22 in her two years here, 44 and 56 overall. The Crawford County Wolfpack coached by Mr. Christopher Broughton. 152 and 107 in his 11 years all there at Crawford County. Um, you know, this is a matchup that the Senators haven't been able to get a win in nine years. They've been beaten by this Crawford County Wolfpack team the last nine times they've met. We've got to go all the way back to the 13-14 season when to get their last win um, for the Senators in this matchup. That predates everybody in the girls' program, even, <laughs> even Ryan Russell, who was a player here, even our athletic director, Darren Russell wasn't part of those that the last time they got the win. Um, the good news is this is a series that has been um, all streaks. The the Crawford County has won the last nine. The Senators took the middle three, and then Crawford County took the first eight. So it's it's been all streaks the whole time. Um, you know, and the the Senators just just have to get over that hump and get the get the win tonight to break that nine game win streak that Crawford County has. Um, and to be honest, Crawford County is on a three-game win streak of their own. You have to go back to the Forest Park loss, which was predating this year. Back last year, December 27th was the last time this Crawford County team was beaten. That was by Forest Park. Then you've got to go back to Lanesville, predominant 1A powerhouse. Um, also beat this uh, Crawford County team and then Borden. So three, three real, real tough, strong teams that have knocked off this Crawford County team. Ryan, what do we have to do tonight to, to get this win? You know, I, I just seen the girls come out here, and it's the first time I've seen Crawford County, actually. I kind of tried to scout some of these girls a little bit just coming in, but uh, 
uh, you know, like, like I say, you know, these girls here, they're, they're a little bit bigger than us uh, coming into the game. Just the overall body features these girls got. Uh, I, d I doubt if they're getting faster than us. I mean, we're a pretty fast team. But, uh, uh, you know, the, the bigger the body, you know, we're going to rely on our bigs quite a bit tonight. Uh, you know, that means uh, you know, Mer uh, Meredith's got to stay out of foul trouble and get her hands up. It means Ava's got to use her, use her body and her hands and move her feet not lay against the person and get those fouls. So I think, you know, and then that got to leave Jayla picking up the, the ridiculous foul from the other end of the court or something, you know. So, you know, our, our bigs have got to stay in there. We got Macy here tonight too as well, and she's been sick, and, and Layla's been coming in and giving us some minutes. But I think the bigs are our key to the game tonight. Yeah, you know, I talked to Coach Messmore last night and today before the game, and that that's the key. They, the bigs have to stay on the floor. We're going to be in a rotation with those bigs. You know, they may play three or four minutes and then come to the bench, get a rest, and then go back in. Um, but they can't pick up the silly fouls. The, the good news is uh, Madison Sturgeon, the, um, you know, the 15-point, the three-rebound junior for Crawford County is not in their starting lineup. Doesn't mean she's not going to come in. Doesn't mean she's not going to play. She didn't start in the game that they had against Springs Valley on Tuesday, um, but she did come in and get quite a few minutes. They're not going to start with her. She, from what I have understood, she's on a uh, as-needed basis. So if they need her, she'll come in. If not, she'll be um, parked next to Coach Broughton down there um, on the bench. But that's the that's the good news. The bad news is they still have Emmy Stroud, who you yeah. know is is a 16 point a game, 10 rebound a game girl. Yeah. So yeah. you know she she's kind of their their workhorse, the the sophomore um, forward, six one. So our bigs have to play a, a good all-around game and just stay with her. She's going to get her points, but we yep. can't have somebody else come in and beat us. And that's right. And that's right. We got it. We got it. We we know there's people. On, you know, the same as Crawford County scouts us. They know that Jalen Meredith is going to be a scoring threat. Uh, you know, coming into the game, and, and we know that you know Stroud and uh, Riley House, a senior there, comes yeah. in there. Riley did, did some damage there a little bit to us last year, and I know I know her family a little bit, so I kind of keep up on her. But you know, right? You know, Riley comes in as a guard. And uh, you know she's probably bigger than our guards. Yeah. And and you know like I say that's that's one thing that you got to do. You know we, we do we do a lot of turnovers that we have. You know for the Senators is you know maybe the overhead passes or something like that. And we got to you know we're going to have to rely on that step around bounce pass. You know even on guard action into the bigs and, and you know and and then you know play play you know help side on that defense on her as well as coming out and stepping out. I think she hit some three pointers on us last year and maybe even the year before that. So uh, you know like I say the. We talked to Andy Howe there just a little bit before the game, and you know, we're like, "What's your rotation?" He says, "Man, we rotate a lot." You yeah, know? So, we're gonna we're so, gonna see their whole lineup. So. so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see some we're gonna see you know the, basically just like the Senators does, we're gonna we're gonna clear the bench as far as people coming into the game, and and it's gonna be an in and out. As I'd say about every possession between each team, somebody's gonna be coming in and out of the game. You know, and and Crawford County likes to play an up pace tempo. That's that's Christopher mm -hmm. Broughton's kind of mo. What he's done his whole time there. They want to play fast. They want to play up and down. And that's the kind of offense that that this Wolfpack team is going to run. The question is, is that in the Senators' wheelhouse, or are they gonna they gonna say, hey, let's let's slow the horses down and let's play in the half court? Yeah, yeah I, I tell you, we, I, I know you weren't there, Craig. I think you've seen it on, on the on the video and stuff. But you know, when we played Perry Central. We was up and down. Yeah. We was up and down. They came out and wanted to play, and we came out, and it, and it excited us. You know, like we was we was up and down. And, you know, that was a close game. We ended up losing that game, but or I think we did. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, we lost it there. But, uh, you know, like I say, that was one of the best games that we played because we didn't stop. We was always going. I mean, even in the fourth quarter, you know, we was up and they was up and we was up and we ended up losing by a few. But, uh, like I say, even in the fourth quarter, two minutes to go, we're still up and down the court, you know, just about fastest pace as you could go for the duration of the game. But, uh, you know, it's just outstanding performance. So I think the Senator, do, you know, I don't want to jinx us because we say this every game, the key <laughs> is to get up and down the court. But, you know, like I say, that's that's honestly the key to the game. Who, who's going to get yeah. them down the court and who's going to lead? So, you know, the Senators got to keep on their, on their, you know, on their toes and not on their heels on this, this uh going back and forth throughout the game tonight. The the Senators did play that Rock Creek game a little underhanded. They didn't have Emma Schmidt, their junior guard, yep. um, who usually starts for them. They did start Lily Thompson. Tonight, uh, uh, Emma Schmidt is back. She's on the court, you know, ready to go up and down. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be an interesting matchup here just personnel-wise with the Senators and the Wolfpack on how we match up overall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, and, and I can't wait to see the rotation. I, I, I like to see their rotation versus our rotation. And, and uh, like I say, we, we talked about jokingly there earlier, we hope it's not a foul fest uh, kind of <laughs> getting into it, you know, like 
I don't, I don't think that we'll be in there in the first half. And, you know, to, towards the end of the second half, I think we could be in there. But, uh, you know, like I say, we, got, we have to stay on our hand. We got to stay on our toes on defense. We have to keep our hands up. Our bigs have to stay out of foul trouble tonight. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call pregame, I'm going to call player of the game tonight has to be Lily Thompson. Yeah. She's got to have a, a big game. She's got to play good defense. She's got to stay on the floor. Right. And she's got to – She's got to chip in some points. That's where we need her. We need some extra points from Lily Thompson. So I'm yeah. giving that one pregame right now. If Lily has a good game, we pull this one out tonight. I think I think you're right. Lily Lily determines the factor of a lot of our games. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we're going to step aside, have the national anthem. We'll be back with starting lineups in just a moment. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave back to live action here on the Ron Smith Court, where the Senators do take on the Crawford County Wolfpack tonight. Uh, like we said, matchup of PLAC foes. Crawford County looking to secure the PLAC championship tonight. Senators looking to play spoil. The Crawford County Wolfpack is going to start a three guard set. First one, number 10, Riley House, the 5'4 senior, averaging 8.2 rebounds. Second up is number 11, the 5'6 senior, Cabron Wolf, averaging 2.1 rebound. And the third guard is the 13, number 13, Emery Straub, uh, the 6'1 sophomore, averaging 16 points, 10 rebounds. Then they go with two forwards, number 15, Skylar Howell, the 5'6 senior, 4 points, 2 rebounds. And uh, number 33, Kylie Rickenbaugh, the 5'10 senior, averaging 6 points and 6 rebounds. They are coached by Mr. Christopher Broughton. Senators are going to go with their regular. No, they're yep. not. They're going to switch it up tonight. So we're going to see a new lineup tonight for the first time uh, here at home. So they're going to start number one, Lily Thompson, the 5'6 junior, the, uh, six, averaging six points, three rebounds. Second guard off the bench for the Senators is number 12, the senior, Shelby Griffiths, the 5'4 senior, averaging four points, two rebounds. And the third guard in their three guard set is number 10, Meredith Deaton, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging 15 points, six rebounds. The Senators are going to go with their regular front court of number five, Jayla Bat, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 12 points, eight rebounds. And number 32, Ava Woods, the 5'11 junior, averaging six points and four rebounds. So that's the way the Senators are going to go. They're coached by Kristen Messamore in her second year here at West Washington. Looking to get going here. The Senators going to be in their white home jerseys, trimmed in blue with blue uh, numbers. Crawford County going to be in their road brown uniforms with the burnt orange numbers. Did a little research on that. Yeah. That's not just a regular orange. That is a burnt orange. The burnt orange. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> so we're going to have Emery Stroud and... Jayla Bat jump center. Here we go, Craig. 
Well, like I said, it, it's going to be Lily Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> that one tipped out to the Wolfpack. They're going to take control to start the game here. Senators come out in there man-to-man. Good help side defense there on Ava Woods. She helped out there on Meredith. He tipped out of bounds by Shelby. Center's going to drop into a 2-3 zone here as the inbound play comes in. Wolfpack works it into Stroud. Then back outside, back into Stroud. She draws a double team. Senators still in their 2-3 zone. That's a three-point miss for the Wolfpack. Lily Thompson rebound and slows it up. Like I said, Wolfpack come in 16-3. and three. They go underneath to Lily Thompson. She misses that one, but Jayla Bat there with the rebound looks to go up with it. Meredith Deaton in the corner, three points. That one no good, no good. but going to stay, stay with the Senators. Like we said last time, looks like there's a top on these buckets so yeah. far. Nobody able to knock one in yet. One fed into Jayla. Jayla goes up. She gets her first bucket of the night. Two points for Jayla Bat. Meredith Deaton picks up in the three-quarter court here. Quick turnover for the Wolfpack. You know, here's where we want to see the Senators kind of slow up a little bit. You know, let's not get in a hurry transitioning the ball down the court. It's early in the game. We, you know, it's two to nothing. We got the lead. And, you know, take our time, move the ball around, work some offense. Shelby Griffiths down the lane. Little floater for her. That one too hard. Rebound and away we go with Emery Stroud. For three. That one no good. Woods there with a nice box out, but Stroud gets the rebound. Going to pick up a personal foul. That's going to be on Jayla. Is it Jayla? No, nope. oh, nope. Lily Thompson. Lily Thompson going to pick that one up. <coughs> Slap down at the ball. First foul for the Senators. First on Lily. Inbound. That one's a miss. Meredith Deaton with the rebound. Quickly ahead. The Senators come. They're working around their offense. Lily pulls it back out to Meredith to set that up. We get a cutter down the middle. Nothing going there. Now we bring them back around. Looks like uh, uh, Stroud's just going to kind of stay in the middle tonight. Maybe not really that do anything. blocked as Woods tries to go up with it. You're exactly right. Stroud is that middle protector there. It's a nice drive down the lane for Crawford. They missed two bunnies underneath before Lily Thompson finally gets out with it. And oh, one yeah. for Shelby Griffith's Ooh. opportunity. Good look down the court. Jalen able to handle that and then get the assist down to Shelby. And one we're going to try to get. Shelby goes to the line, 59% free throw shooter on the year. Shelby would be one of the leading free throw shooters. Uh, she's up there. Yeah. Emma Schmidt ahead of her and Adele Brown. Yeah. Shelby misses that one. Jayla tips it out. I thought they were going to blow uh, her for yeah, a foul I did there. Too. I was <laughs> not going to be need super some happy with that. Coaching down one. there to tell her to, you know, maybe not do that. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep those bigs in the game. 4 0. Ball inbounded. Center is going to come out in a 2 2 1 press here. Meredith Deaton with the takeaway. Ahead to Thompson, off to Jayla. Jayla goes up and gets her two-point bucket. Just like that, you know, we're, we're playing for we're playing to get the basket, you know, and, and Lily could have tried to took that up. She saw Jayla open and, and did the right thing of passing that ball off. Yeah, nice feed there. Wolfpack get it in the front court. Riley House going to set up the offense. They're looking to feed it to Stroud down low. That they, they want it to get to her. Yeah, they want to get it down there. They're trying to spread that offense so we don't get the double team down there. They're going to pick the foul up on Shelby Griffiths. Yep. There's only about eight-inch size difference yeah. there between, yeah. <laughs> between Shelby and Stroud. 
Stroud goes to the line, 71% free throw shooter on the year, looking yeah. to get her first point of the night. I do like it, though. If you're going to foul him, don't let that ball go near the rim. Yeah. Stroud steps up, knocks in that first one. Makes the score 6-1. to one. They're going to sub in number 20, Madison Sturgeon. We said we weren't sure if she was going to get in the game. Sure looks yeah, like she's, she's in the game she's now. She's coming. Sturgeon averages 15 points, three rebounds, so... Hits the second, also is Stroud. Gives her two on the night, perfect from the line. In comes in five, Abby Adams, the 5'4 sophomore. Meredith gonna take the ball out. Crawford gonna come out in a 2-2-1 press here. Jayla comes up, it goes back to Meredith in the middle. They're gonna work the sides here of this 2-2-1, back to Meredith. Make Senators finally break the timeline. They get it in the front court. Jayla with a nice move, goes up, gets that one oh. blocked. They're going to stay with the Senators. That's one thing, once you get past Stroud, she can still get up and block that right, shot. Right, right. one goes into Woods, nothing there. Thompson for three. Got it. Boom. <laughs> Lily Thompson with three. Senators out to a 9-2 lead. They yep. feed it underneath. And that's nice the, bucket there. That's the plan. They're going to try to pull us out. Yeah, Rickenball gets her first bucket there. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. Can't leave the bottom open. Thompson gets past Stroud on the far side. She goes up and tries to shoot it, jump but we're ball. going to get a jump ball out of that. You know, Ava's got to get more aggressive with that ball. I like the way she grabbed it, but she just kind of went into the traffic and kind of lost everything coming up. Right. Senators go with a stack here. Comes in, nice move. Dumped off to Ava Woods. Nice bucket for her. Her first bucket of the night. You know, Craig, we're doing good. We're getting the transitions down the court, getting some stops, and we're doing our doing our offense, and we're getting some scores. Crawford going to work their offense around. I would say this is probably their right. No, they've got some subs in there they that they normally don't start. They have subs that came in, yeah. Is that pick and roll? Oh, it goes off of Shelby's leg yeah. as she's there to give help defense. It goes off her leg, so Crawford going to keep the ball out of bounds. Riley House going to inbound. Nice Jayla job by Jayla, it. just take it away. And Stroud going to take it right back. Ava Woods gets her hand on that cross-court pass. Good job by the Senators getting back there. Crawford going to miss one, but then get their own rebound. Yeah. And then we're going to get a foul from across the <laughs> floor. Jayla Back going to pick up her first, team's third. Yeah, Rickenbacher was not even facing the goal, and they yeah. called a shooting foul. So she's going to step to the line. She's a 65% free throw shooter on the year. First one through for her. That gets her three on the night. Five for Crawford total. Second one up, it's no good. Jayla's there to get a hand on it. Senators into the front court quickly. Meredith Deaton pulls it back, thinks again. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. Comes out to Jayla. Jayla with a pump fake, thinks about going down the lane. Nothing going there. Off to Thompson. Thompson goes baseline. Going to be a turnover for the Senators. I believe she carried it when she threw it around <laughs> her back. Yeah, Lily picking that's, up another foul. That's exactly what we talked about in the pregame where, you know, if you make a foul on one end, you can't make the foul – or if you make a turnover on one end, you can't come back and make the foul at the other. Looks like Meredith Deaton lost a contact. She puts that back in. Yeah. I tell you what, if my contact fell out there, ain't no way I could do yeah. that. <laughs> she just reached out and got it. So Crawford inbounds the ball. This is uh, Madison Sturgeon. And watch Shelby on the Shelby hand check there. there. Ooh, Jayla both. Nice move underneath by Stroud to get her fourth point of the night. 
Jayla with the floater. Senators lead by six, 13 to seven. Schmidt checked into the game at the last dead ball. Gonna stay with hmm. the Wolfpack. Wolfpack only shooting two of eight in this quarter from two point range, so. Senators gotta stay home here. We're not gonna able to give up any baskets inside. Deaton with the rebound there. She breaks the pressure that Crawford puts. Schmidt setting up the offense over to Deaton in the corner, looking to get it down low to Ava Woods. Yeah, Ava was there. She didn't stick that post. I thought she, if she stuck it just a few more seconds, she was going to get that ball, yeah. and she was wide open. Woods flashes back across. Schmidt down the lane, off to Griffiths. Goes over the top to Jayla. Jayla hands it off to Meredith. Meredith thought about a three there, but didn't catch it in rhythm, so good idea to pull it back, set up the offense yeah. again. Great job. Now she's going to take Meredith it. Meredith in the corner. Too long. Misses that one. Oh, that's our ball. She touched it. She touched it. Oh, oh they're going <laughs> to give it the other way. Senators are only one of three from three-point range in this quarter. So 13 to 7, 114 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Sturgeon gets direction from Coach Broughton and hands it off to Riley House. Tries to get something going, can't get any forward movement. And yeah, that's Ava Woods missed that rebound there. She's got to get her person boxed out. <laughs> and then it bounces off of about three centers <laughs> yeah, before yeah. it's reset. So yeah. 47 seconds now to go. A good steal by Emma Schmidt. Reach in for She's wanting Schmidt. to run the court. Jayla's behind her. You got it. Good job. Nice move by Schmidt to get up and get in the scoring column. Two points for her, 15 to seven. 30 seconds to go. Meredith Deaton going to pick up half court. Gonna swing it over the top to Sturgeon. Sturgeon off to Stroud. Stroud going to go down the lane. Now they're going to talk about well, it. They don't know what they're going to call. Oh, and they're going to call they're on Meredith. So Meredith Deaton picks up her first. Not even around the ball, but it's okay. <laughs> and then to compound it, now she's going to go to the line and shoot. Yeah. I've, ne I've never seen that, Craig. Yeah, Emery Stroud going to step up to the line, 71% free throw shooter on the year. All three refs blow the whistle. One walks away, and the other two look at each other. Yeah. <laughs> that one up gives her five. Yeah. Maybe that was one of those what they call an anticipation call. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Second one for Stroud up and good. He's a good three throw shooter. He's got good form. Yeah. 15 to 9 here. Senators do lead. 18 seconds to go in the first. You know, I like to catch Meredith in the corner for one of them three pointers. Yeah. Ava Woods flashes across, can't get her the ball. Seven seconds here on the clock. We got to do something. Meredith's going to pull up. From, oh, no, we're going to get Emma Schmidt. She Schmidt got goes up, gets it blocked. Nice attempt for her, but unable to score there. So the Senators going to go into the first quarter break, leading 15 to 9 over the Wolfpack. We'll be back after a short commercial break from United Producers. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values.
Back to live action here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead 15 to nine going into the second quarter of play here against Crawford County. Ryan, uh, watched your youngest daughter play on, what was it, Monday night, Monday I believe, night, yeah. where the Senators played Salem. That seventh grade team was able to pull off a nice win there. Yeah, yeah, did a great job. I was talking to Coach Stroud, Skyler Stroud over there, and I congratulated him. Yeah, that's a that's definitely a big win for those Lady Senators. Yeah. Hopefully the the varsity Lady Senators can get a big win tonight, yeah. just like that one. Stroud underneath, no and answer right there, for that's, that. That's where we're going to have to change our defense, and uh, you know we're going to have to do a little zone or something because yeah. we know that I don't know how many points are inside if you're keeping track of it, Craig. But they, <laughs> most of them are inside. Most I don't of think them. they've hit any threes. So. No, they have not yeah. hit a three yet. Ooh. Jayla, a little hard on that one. Yeah, probably should have just took it right up in her instead of yeah. trying to go over top of her. Yep, go in, draw some contact on that. They feed down low to Rickenball. Travel. Rickenball going to travel, going to be a turnover for them. Yeah. She's disappointed at herself. She knew, she knows. She's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I forgot the dribble. Yeah. It happens. It happens to the best of them. <clears throat> you were never called for a travel in high school, were you? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Senators come back, set up their offense, swing it across to Meredith Deaton. We did get Adele Brown checked into the game there at the quarter break. You know, in that first quarter, Craig, we had five Senators in the scoring column. That's that's tremendous. Yeah, that that's what the Senators need to do. It needs to be a balanced attack here. We did see Crawford pull Sturgeon out. So, we said we'd keep an eye on her, but she's out at the moment. Yeah, see. Senators looking to run some office, offense. Coach Miss Moore just not happy with the way yeah. the movement is going, so she calls a 30-second timeout. Ryan, what do you what do you see here? I tell you what, I don't know if I'd have called that timeout. I, I you know, we're ahead, so I, why yeah. would, you know, I, I don't I don't agree with that. But you know, six minutes to go on the clock, let's work our offense because the Senators are notorious, as we talked earlier, that we you know we run through our plays. They can nobody can ever get us for running through our plays, but yeah. you know, well, and, let's and keep working that ball around because what we was doing was we was making them come out, and as I was getting ready to comment, uh, you know, Stroud's standing in the lane. She's the tallest player on the court. She's standing in the lane just hugging the goal. Yeah. You know, she's not going to allow those easy baskets that Jalen Meredith have been kind of getting all along, so we're going to have to find a reason to pull her out. Right, and it may be one of those times where we have to run through our offense three or four times and reverse the ball around, which we had run through it once, and they reversed the ball, but, you know, doing it two or three times, that's a long time to play defense and not pick right. up a foul right. in high school ball. You know, that's a dangerous pass there. Deaton able to get it, step back, nothing going there. Adele Brown quickly pulls back and resets yeah. the offense. See, they're, they're kind of like in a two-three bo yeah, zone, kind of like like boxing one or lane. something. You know, like I say that we need to get, we need, to, we got to draw those people out. Yeah, that with the size that they've got, they can kind of sit in that two-three zone. Yeah. Number 11. Well, she was Wolf wanting to was shoot wanting that to one. shoot it. Couldn't yeah. get a clean catch on She's it. She's disappointed in herself. So we've got both Schmitz in the game at the moment. I didn't realize that. Yeah, uh, Lena came in for Jayla. Okay. Oh, Del Brown gets lost on that one. Yep. Three goes up, no good. Good job by Meredith, Meredith to clean that one out. Senators do lead 17 to 11. Deaton thinks about pulling it there, nothing going. Schmidt down the lane, off to Brown. Brown for three. That's a good shot. She hit it. Knocks that one in. Three points for her. Hot roll is on. <laughs> she asked me last game, she said, can I use your subscription to see if you called me hot roll? <laughs> <laughs> so three points for Adele. Nice job by we her. A, we have a mismatch underneath with – you know, Emma trying to guard 33 that uh, Rick and Ball, and, yeah, and we want to watch that pretty close. Stroud going to knock that one in. Crawford County going to take a timeout there. So we're going to step aside, have a commercial break from Sullivan Financial, be back for more Senator action here in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority. 
which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to live action here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Senators are leading 20 to 13. 5.07 left to go in the first half of play. We've got a pretty good crowd here tonight and we've got the pet band going. Yeah, we got a good crowd. I'd say maybe our biggest crowd, okay? Yeah. We've got wrestling going on in the front, so yep. the county wrestling meet going on up there with West Washington, Salem, and Eastern. Mm -hmm. And then in the back, I think we've got junior high boys maybe playing back there. So That's fantastic. Lots of action here on West Washington campus tonight. I like this here. We're doing a little spread action, doing the weave. Get it to Meredith in the corner. She brings it back up top. Crawford going to sit kind of in this 2-3 zone. Yeah, we don't have to score here. Yeah. You know, let's just work the ball. Nice move there by Meredith. She gets down the lane, puts that one up. Good travel. Ooh. Going to be a turnover on the center. Got Senators. that locked on her hip just a little bit as she yeah. took that last step. Not a bad call. So, Senators have four turnovers in the first half of play, along with Crawford. Crawford also has four. Sturgeon checks in the game. She gets by Woods Ooh. over there. They give it back to her in the corner. Nothing going there. Swing it all the way across the court and then feed it down low. That one way short. Sturgeon with the rebound, leaves it off, and that's a miss. Yeah. Got a tip out to Adele for the rebound. She's going to bring it up the court. Pass it up ahead to Elena. Elena passes it Leaves it off out. to Brown. Brown for three. That one's a miss. And looky there. Schmidt with the rebound. That no good. Emma's got some heart. I think you said there last night on the broadcast, maybe she's maybe the third leading scorer or second leading yeah. scorer. Or, yeah. Or rebounder. Rebounder, I'm, rebounder I'm for yeah, sure. Rebounder. Yeah. Well, she's got some heart. And like I told Coach Missmore last night in the coaches show, you know, she's usually the smallest girl on the floor, but gets just kind of goes and is able to find the ball. Yeah. So. That was a good tip by Meredith. Yeah, Meredith gets her hand on that ball and tips it yeah. out of bounds. Could have easily been a reach, but you know, that's what that's, we just got to pay attention. So Jayla Back going to check back in. I think she's going to get Woods. She's going to get Ava. Woods tying her shoe, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ava didn't realize that she got her, so yeah. she's going to go out. Ava's played a good couple, good, good uh, quarter and in, in more than a half almost yeah. there and, and no foul, so that's that's a big thing for yeah, Ava. Yeah, that's what we talked about. You we know, wanted our bigs to stay out of foul trouble. Moving her feet, rebounding the ball. Nice job by Jay Labatt to get her hand on that one. Zoe Easton over there trying to control it, unable to do so, so. We're going to see Abby Adams check back in for uh, Cabron Wolf. Wolfpack get it into Sturgeon. They're going to set up their offense. Sturgeon for three. That one Air way ball. short. Oh, she's out of bounds. She's out of bounds. It. Nice job of getting the rebound, but you got to be in bounds when yeah, you get it. Yeah. So, ball comes into Schmidt. Schmidt leaves it off to Deaton. Deaton uh, does break half yeah, court. Yeah, got it. I'd run all the way. There you go, Meredith. Meredith gets that one up on the board. Not going to be able to get that one to go. Crawford County out with the rebound, coming back the other way. Kicked across to Sturgeon. Sturgeon for three. That one no good, but they they come out with the rebound. That one down. Now we're going to get a foul. Is that going to be Meredith? It's going to be on Meredith. It'll be her second. Her second. The first of the team in this quarter. She's calling for a switch. Her and Jayla's going to switch. Yep. Emery Stroud going to go to the line. That one is no good. Crawford County is five of seven in the half for 71 percent. Number 
Rickenball going to move back into the game. Yep. Zoe Easton comes out. Steps up, knocks that one down. Stroud now with 11. Score is 20 to 14, 2.35 to go. Oh, that one goes through Hot Roll's hand. Yeah, Going to go out yeah. of bounds like a hot roll. Yeah, had the butter on the fingers <laughs> that time. <laughs> yeah, that's just, you know, they don't get a lot of varsity time. That, you know, it's part of it. We talked earlier about getting them girls in there and getting them playing some. And in the heat of the moment, just kind of forgot to catch the ball. Yeah, that's the that's one of the most important parts. you got to catch the ball. Yeah. As we predicted, Jayla's going to take Stroud. With Meredith's got two fouls. And Emma Schmidt just working because of the jump ball down there. That's excellent defense by Emma Schmidt. Senator's going to get this one on the jump ball. we we'll get some substitutions. Shelby Griffith's going to come in for hot roll. I didn't get who came in for Wolf Crawford came Wolf came in. I think Adams came out. I think that's the one that checked out. So gotcha. Schmidt going to bring it across half court. Over to Little Schmidt. <laughs> Crawford looks like they're in a 2-3 zone. Yeah, Jayla's got to take her one-on-one -on -one right now. Kick out to Meredith. That's good. Nice bucket there by Meredith. That gives her five. 23-14, 145 to go in the first half. You know, you see what they do. They overload one side on that on their offense, leave one player far wing, and then they want to get that mismatch on, down low. Yeah, and that's there, where we there's a mismatch yeah. down there now. Yeah, we can't leave that open. There Meredith we go. Now we switched. It back. We switched it back. Now Meredith's got to play smart. Hands straight up. Going to stay with the Wolf Pack. Poked away off of Meredith's foot. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, Meredith's going to get a break, yeah. and in comes. Layla Manship. And that's a that's a good play by Coach Massimore is to get Meredith out of there before she gets that third foul. Yeah. You know, 121 here to go with a nine point lead. Yeah. It's a nice seal there she by 33 the, Rickenball. Elena wasn't ready for that. Yeah. You've got to anticipate that cut there. Yeah, for sure. So one minute to go here in the first half of play. Swing it to Schmidt, to her sister, and then down. Oh, I thought they were going to feed Jayla down. Yep. The lane is a floater. Oh, yeah, That one go. no good. We need a rick -a ball <laughs> on that. Yeah. Maybe her second foul on it. Uh, no, first, if they give it to rick -a ball Yep, first for rick -a ball oh, I thought she had two. Huh. Team's first of the game. Schmidt goes to the line, puts that one up and then good. She's a 63% free throw shooter on the year. Number 20, Maddie Sturgeon checks back in. Lead is eight for the Senators, 24-16. Senators want to get Sturgeon back in the game to get that possible three-point shot there on the comeback. Yeah. Schmidt, couple of dribbles, lets this one go. I believe that's a lane violation. Yep. Yeah. So, good news, that one doesn't count as a miss for Elena. That's going to start again. I was wondering how that Sorry, worked. Sorry, Emma, not Elena. Yeah, Elena's her yeah, sister. Yeah. So, Emma, yep, that one doesn't count. It's like it never happened. Like it never happened. Unless you hit it, then it yeah, counts. Then it counts, yeah, like that. Oh, oh she missed it. Said it too I jinxed soon. Her. I jinxed her. It's a miss for Schmidt. Sturgeon up quickly up the far sideline. Gets it back, feeds that it underneath. Mismatch. Rick and ball up and good there. That's a mismatch. We can't play that yeah. defense. Yeah, we're going to have to drop yeah, Schmidt, back into a 2-3. Schmidt two, can't three. guard her. Yeah. Oh, and then we're going to get a jump, and it's going to turn yeah. it back over. 30 seconds to go. Senators up six. Yeah, this, this defense where Schmidt is stuck down low guarding Rick and ball is not going to work for the Senators. Right. I think the Senators are getting in a, a switch situation there. Yeah, we don't need to switch. We need to stay low. Down the lane. That one up and no good. Jayla with the rebound. Go all the way. Bat puts on the brakes. Up and good for two for her. Gives her eight. Seven seconds. Five, four. 
Kicks it off, that one up for three, no good. So Senators going to end the first half up 26 to 18 with an eight point lead. Um, Senators shooting, they are one of three from the free throw line, eight of 16 from two point range, three of six from three point range. So overall in the first half, they're 11 of 22 for 50%. Crawford County is 6 of 8 from the free throw line, 6 of 16 from two-point range for only 37%, and 0 of 7 from three-point range. So overall, they're 6 of 23 for 26%. Rebounding pretty even. Senators with 11, Crawford County with 12, and five turnovers to four in favor of the Wolf Pack with just four. Scoring breakdown for the Senators. Lily Thompson has three. Emma Schmidt with two. Jayla Bat has eight leading the way. Uh, Meredith Deaton with five. Two personals on her though. Shelby Griffiths with two. Adele Brown with a three point make and Ava Woods with two points. Uh, the Wolfpack are led in scoring. They only get two girls in the scoring column. Emery Stroud with 11 and Kylie Rickenball with seven. So with that, we're going to step aside for an extended break here over the halftime. We will be back after the Commissioner's Corner and a short commercial break. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is your weekly conversation with the Commissioner. It's the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King filling in for the Coach Bob Lovell. Welcoming on the busiest guy you know. That's the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nottig. Paul, great to be with you as always. And I know doing scoreboard updates on Indiana Sports Talk over the last few weeks, one fun thing that always pops up, county and holiday tournaments. You yourself, Paul, is a former player playing in those where it's either multiple games in one day or you're going back and forth to the gym every single day. Uh, what do those mean to you? Well, I think it's uh, I think it's really a great time of the year, Brendan. It's it's a uh, you know coaches of you, you for a moment you take away the 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 school aspect, which is the most important thing that we do. But you take that out of the day to day for these student athletes, and it puts a coach in a gym with student athletes, and it gives them a chance to to really work on the game over break. And I think that's what's really important for me. And you know we've seen. Uh, basketball in Indiana is certainly certainly in great shape, but we've seen the number of holiday tournaments across the state just have just jumped up to a, a, a I mean they're everywhere. I think I mapped out where I could have seen like 27 games if I would have stayed on it between the end of Christmas and New Year's. Um, but when we went to 22 game schedule, we really saw an increase in the number of holiday tournaments. But it's you know it's just a great time of year. It's a chance to focus on family, friends, and basketball. Well, it's a community aspect, right? Because not only are the kids on break, likely the people in the community are on a holiday break from work, or at least a little bit, right? So it gives them a chance to catch a game. It does. It does. You know, it's just a, it's a, it's a more relaxed time for you know as we all try to to make a living working. And it, it gives you a chance to have a few days off and go in the gym and watch your local high school team. I know guys that go out and they'll sit in the gym all day long and just watch game after game after game just because, and I say guys, people, that's, uh, certainly this is a, there's a lot of women in this state that love this game too, but I see, you know, it, it's just a great time of year. Paul, coming up January the 21st, hard to believe it's already here, the 49th annual IHSAA Girls Basketball State Tournament pairing show. Bob Lovell, Greg Rakestraw will be there. Uh, man, this always comes up quick, doesn't it? It does, it does. And I was just just with uh, Assistant Commissioner Janie Elmer, who oversees girls basketball just a few minutes ago, and she's she's in her office and got spreadsheets laid out across her desk, and she's working on uh, what officials' assignments may be in the future. She's working on uh, her communications to schools as far as operation of the tournament, and it's tournament central in her office today, Just and it has been all week, just getting ready to, to put on uh, another IHSA state tournament on the girls' side. Again, that's January 21st, the pairing show with Coach Lovell and Greg Rakestraw. I'm Brendan King here filling in for Coach on the Commissioner's Corner along with Paul Neidig. Paul, we were just talking off the air. Not only is the pairing show coming right up, so is wrestling season and some changes coming to especially where wrestling is going to be held for the state championship, right? 
Yeah, you know, the, the, the beginning of the tournament, as we walk through the sectionals, regional, and semi-state, they're going to look much like they have in the past, similar locations. But we did have to make a change due to a little thing called the NBA All-Star Game. And certainly, <laughs> uh, you know, it's a, you know that event's just phenomenal, and it, it, it's great for our state and the city of Indianapolis and uh, our, our sponsors, or our friends, Pacer, Pacer Sports um, and Entertainment, uh, came to us a while and said, hey, we want to. We want to be able to do this, and we we didn't. We just got to look and and see. We just found a place to go wrestle a state championship, and we're going to do that this year in Evansville. And so we're gonna we're gonna go to Evansville, and we're gonna have the whole state and let Evansville put their best foot forward, like Fort Wayne and other states or other communities have done over the years. And we've had to move tournaments, and uh, I think Evansville. I know they're ready. It's uh, it's my hometown. Right. Uh, they're it's a wrestling hotbed, and we got people that are. Already, I think they a couple of them may be lined up outside the door waiting for that tournament here in a couple in about six weeks. It is going to be a hop in time for sure. I'm Brendan King on the Commissioner's Corner with Paul Nighting. Paul, always appreciate the time. It's great to catch up with you, my friend. Thanks, Brendan. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you in the gym somewhere. Thanks for listening to the Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Nighting and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Anyone on? Back to here, back to action here. We're trying to get people in the crowd to get on. <laughs> you know, Mason Armstrong sitting right next to us. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to join in. Doesn't want to participate. Um, you know, we, we asked Amity Bat. You know, if she wanted to come yeah. on and talk about her big game that she had Monday. Yeah. She didn't want on, so we just can't get anybody Man, to come on. I tell you, Lady Senators definitely on tonight. They score 26 in the first half um, and lead this one by eight. That's a, a pretty good rundown for for them. They scored. Uh, 15 in the first quarter, 11 in the second quarter, where Crawford was only able to manage nine in both of their quarters. So, um, you know, great job by the Lady Senators. They did have a lead as much as nine, but never trailed out ahead, the, you know, right off the bat and have never trailed in this game. So, you know, good job for the Lady Senators to do that. I'm sure Coach Missamore wants exactly the same kind of offense that they put out in that first half to, to continue in the second. Um, you know, the, the Lady Senators do have Meredith Deaton with two personals, but everybody else only has one. So, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, pretty good job for them. The the Wolfpack not in foul trouble at all. The only foul that I've got them down for is Kylie Rickenball. She's got one foul. 
um, total. That was their only one in the first half. So, um, you know, pretty clean game by both teams. Senators got to come out and keep playing how they are. Yeah, we, we've been playing really good. And, you know, it's just that it, it, we've, we've had the momentum. And, and, you know, like I said, we said during there, the uh, we talked with Steve, the uh, – uh, Kristen's husband out here at, right at halftime. You know, we say we, you know, we've had some players come in that we don't typically see until yeah. the later part of the game that come in and, and gave our our people some minutes there in the uh, first first and second quarter, some breaks to you know get their legs back under them, and we're still pulling the lead. I I tell you what, Craig, I think it's the best half we've played so far. Yeah, I uh, think it's the most complete half we've right, played. Right, right, top to bottom, and you know I think the refs are kind of letting them play just a little bit, and we're not we're not getting picky on the touchy fouls and yeah. stuff. I mean. It, Pretty much every foul's been 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 a pretty decent call. I mean, right. we ain't had no absurd calls or anything like that. But you know, and that's what it takes on, on a team. You know, a night like tonight where there's you know a lot at stake here, especially for Crawford County. Yeah, they're but, looking uh, they're looking to secure at least a a part of the PLAC championship tonight. If they win, they they secure that. Um, Senators looking to play spoil here yeah. and and yeah. you know throw a wrench in all of that. Yeah, get a get a tie going. Yeah. So Senator's going to get the ball to start here in the third. Jayla Strong with that ball goes in the corner to Meredith, who throws it across, yeah. and it's going to be the first turnover of the half for the Senators. There we go. But Crawford going to give it right back to Lily Thompson, who goes down the lane up to Jayla Bat, who That's knocks good. that one in. She's now in double digits. Senator lead is 10. That was a good play there. We kind of got tipped the ball, and we talked about Orleans' game where the deflections hurt us, you know, and that's what that's what we got to have. There's another deflection by Jayla. Jayla with the, she did the next spin takeaway. Move. She hit the X button on the controller for the spin move. That's going to be 12. Coach Broughton going to take a timeout very quickly. I didn't see if this was a full or a 30, but either way, he's – yeah, he's, he's not gonna happy. Get a, he's going to get a full time. Yeah, out. we're going to stay with you here. That's the exact start that the Lady Senators right. wanted here. They have pushed this lead out to 12 in only 41 seconds of play. Yeah. You know, it, it come out and, and knock down two big buckets there. Jayla Bat able to take it away. Two turnovers already in the half for the Crawford County Wolfpack. Everything's kind of aligning yeah. tonight it's, for the Senators. It's aligning. I know there's seven minutes to go in the third, but I mean, you know, like I say, we're, we're, we're giving it all. The girls are down there having a, a good time. I mean, yeah. You see them down there. When, the, when you look you down know, there, it smiles yeah, ear to yeah. ear. And, and Coach Messmore's smiling. The assistant coaches are smiling. And we're, and we're still talking and strategizing and yeah. stuff, and that's what that's what it's going to take. You know, and we talked, you know, we've got a pretty good fan base here tonight. I just saw some of my fourth grade students roll in. They came down after their winter league practice. Those of you looking for something to do Sunday, if you can't get enough basketball tonight, boys play tomorrow, then they play again on Saturday. Yeah. If you're looking for something to do Sunday, winter league out here at West Washington, come out and support is your – the, Is the boys actually both games here? Both games are okay. here. They play um, Springs Valley tomorrow, so the Blackhawks come to town. And that'll be a good game. And that'll be a good game. And then they've got South Central also on – on Saturday, eight and three for them mm -hmm. um, to come in, and then you got Winter League here all day. So if you're if you're tuned in on the radio, those Winter League games are going to be live streamed on our YouTube page. So if you've got a West Washington Senator that's playing in the sunken gym, no reason not to see them. Yeah. I sent a message to someone's sister. I think they were going to post that for me. I got you. <laughs> I have to remind her. Yeah, I won't mention any names, but they're sitting right next to me. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Meredith down low, and she's doing a great job covering that. It's a good Lily Thompson. Nice job steps in by Lily Thompson there. to step good. in, and that's going to be a turnover. Yeah, the Senators are on. they got Crawford County flustered. They're really not knowing what to do, and, and uh, I think we're going to see some action here on the press. We're going to throw that ball in. Five seconds. You know, I, and, and we did, we talked about that the other night in the overtime. We're going to have to get Meredith Deaton out there. Uh, you know, maybe Jayla's going to have to take it out or, or Ava or somebody and get Meredith Deaton out there to catch that yeah. ball being a little bit taller than her defender. Uh, you know, that, that means a lot when you're throwing the ball inbounds. That's the second turnover for the Lady Senators in this half. Yeah. Lily Thompson steps in and takes that one that away. Was a great deflection there by Lily. Goes over the top to Jayla Bat. Comes back and sets up the offense. Nice job by the Senators. 30 to 18, lead is 12. They go down low to Jayla. Jayla goes oh. up and doesn't get that one, but then it's going to be a out of bounds. So Yeah, I thought she got fouled. I did too, but you know, not, uh, I, no, that, that, no call. Hopefully that means that we're not going to get very many fouls, you know, going into the third and fourth quarter. 
So Crawford going to slow this one down a little bit and get uh, some, some offense going for them. They feed it down low to Stroud. Stroud, yeah. nice move, reverse layup. That one no good. Three Senators down there to get that rebound. Jayla's going to turn around and get it. Good nice job. Nice outlet to Jayla Bat. 14 for the sophomore. Nice spin move there. They leave it yep. off to Stur or they leave it off to Stroud. Sturgeon to Stroud. That one going to go out of bounds off of Meredith Deaton. Yeah, they're going to try to get that ball to Stroud. Stroud's not getting the, what she wants down there, and they're going to try to move that ball as, down there as much as they can and try to get a mismatch. And Shelby gets the deflection. Good job. Up and good by Shelby. And that's what we got to have. We have to have the finishes tonight. You know, we got to get down and finish. Coach. Uh, Broughton going to take another timeout. This is going to be a full timeout. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from Lynx Clothing and Shoes, and we'll be back for more Senator action here in just a moment. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back to live action here where the Senators do lead 34-18, 5.45 left to go here in the third. Senators come out just a ball of fire so far in this third quarter of play. Um, I've got them for eight already in this quarter. Yeah, they came out and they're ready to play. And as we said, in the, you know, Craig at the, at the timeout, you know, we got we to get down there and, and protect our basket. Uh, they're going to throw that ball down low, and they're looking for a mismatch. Make them shoot outside because yep. they don't want to shoot the ball outside. There's a three-pointer. Number 20, Sturgeon knocks that one in. Her first bucket of the night for three. That's the lead to 13. That's their third person to score tonight, too. Yeah. They swing it across the court to Deaton. Deaton for three. That looks good. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that gives her eight. Senator lead back up to 16. Watch that cutter. Yep, there's the cutter. That's there's good. Ava Woods. She's going to pick yep. up the personal. Ava just didn't quite get there, and she was still moving. Uh, that's yeah. good deal. She was hands was up, and she hands was Hands were up. That was great. She didn't yep. reach down that's on the right. ball at all. Right. So great job there by Ava Woods. We, we just got her with the body. Definitely take that foul. Yep, and it's only her first. That's right. So number 15, Skylar Howell goes to the line. Misses that one. I've got her as a 12% free throw shooter. Ooh. I don't think she shot very many. Okay, so. okay. And it may be a typo too. It happens. As long as it's not a 92% yeah. free throw shooter. I don't know, one's not really close to nine, so. Misses both of those. Yep. Gonna stay with the Wolf Pack. Number five, Abby Adams checks in for Cabron Wolf. Here's where we see that screen down low. Lily Thompson has to be ready for that. They yep. didn't go to it this time. Get it out top to Sturgeon in the corner. That one hits all kinds of stuff. Oh. Ooh. oh. That's a terrible call. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she just barely had the ball and pulls it down, and they call it. That was, that was a great job, by Ava. Yeah. And Shelby picks up on that. That's a good move out by Shelby. Lily's got the rebound. She falls into the Crawford County team and gets the travel. I'll take the travel as long yeah. as we got the rebound. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> That was a, a mess, and the trail official didn't call that one. That was the one that was all yeah. the way up the sideline. Right, so. right. Wolfpack come back out, set up their offense. Meredith Deaton out top. It's a nice bucket down low by Stroud again. Yeah. Gives her 13. 
520, or sorry, 425 to go here in the third. Yep, That's a turnover for the Senators. Didn't quite get enough power on that one. Lily Thompson there. Yep, Lily using her speed. Yeah, she so. gets a hand on it, then a foot on it, and then she catches it as it ricochets <laughs> yeah. off of the bleachers. <laughs> Does Lily play softball? Uh, she has in the past. She, she didn't has. play last year. Oh, I got you. So. And that's a good move. Yeah, Ava, Stroud. we talked about Ava there being heads up and looking for that. Jayla gets that one, feeds it off to, well, it goes through three senders. Yeah. And then we're going to get a foul. We're going to get Riley House on that foul. Yeah. Trying to cut her off in the baseline and just gets a little bit too much body on there. 37-23, senders lead by 14, exactly halfway through the third quarter. Senators going to inbound that one. Comes into Griffiths, off to Thompson for three. Bang. Yeah. Gives her six. Yeah, Lily felt that when she was ready for it, and she was square and ready to shoot that ball. Senators up 17. Crawford kicks it off for three. That one's good for Skylar Howell. That was a good shot. She was, she was the same way. She was square and ready. Into Griffiths. Off to Thompson. Thompson up the sideline. And this is what we're gonna I like whenever Lily gets that ball and runs. Oh, that was a – man, that guy there, I tell you, he's going to be on my list for terrible calls. <laughs> Gosh. No good all around. That didn't help Lily them at all. I think just took the ball and threw it out of bounds. But, yeah. you know, according to him, that's what happened. Yep. And she didn't even get cut off on the sideline over there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Crawford Ooh. does trail by 14 here. Travel. That'll be a travel. Yep. There yep. we go. Now it's coming back. The makeup call coming backwards. This one not as, this half not as clean as the first half. Uh, five turnovers for the Senators already. Six for the Wolfpack. Ball inbounded to Griffiths. Griffiths yeah. goes over the top to I Deaton. Don't, I Deaton do not like Griffiths. those over the head no, passes. That's two of us. Nice hesitation there, nothing going off to Woods. Woods up, misses that one, but Jayla's there. Yeah, Jayla, Jayla got the rebound, but I tell you what, Ava was square and ready, and she got bounced around as she went up for that shot, and that was a good square shot. Rickenball going to pick up her second, second of the quarter. In comes number 11, Cabron Wolf. We may lose the towel on the handle. <laughs> Senators do get it in out to Lily Thompson off to Meredith Deaton for three. That one no good, but Shelby Griffiths Shelby's there. Nice it. step through. That one no good. It's going to stay here. So I, nice. could, I actually couldn't even see Shelby when she shot that ball. <laughs> There's so many big people around her. Shelby playing a nice game so far. Four points for her. Countless rebounds. Comes into Deaton. Deaton looks to get a shot off to Thompson. Yeah, and right here, Lily's looking at Jayla. She was going to wing that ball. Yeah. There's Ava down low. Back out to Shelby for three. That one no good. Thompson in there for to try to get a piece of it. Yeah, good tip by Lily. Shelby's going to control it and throw it away. One on Action all over. Yeah. I think Rick and Ball goes up and gets that Meredith one. Just has to let that one go in the in. Coach Messmore going to take a timeout. She's going to do a full. Yeah, full timeout. We're going to step aside for a commercial break. We'll be back for more action here in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. 
Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Back to live action here on Ron Smith Court. We were talking about the PLAC action. Uh, Borden tonight falls to Orleans of the PLAC by four. Borden was ranked, I believe, th third in 1A. Yep. Uh, also a big shout out to my friend Greg Regstraw. He's got three trucks up in Lawrence County where uh, – Lawrence Central and Lawrence North are playing. He does the ISC production up there. So he's got three of his production trucks up there running that game. So that tells you how big that game is in Lawrence County. Yeah. Senators get the ball in. They work it back to Deaton in the middle. A couple of dribbles up to Thompson, off to oh. Shayla Bat, and then it's going to be a turnover for the Senators. And as we said earlier, them refs, they're not going to call. They're not going to call that reach-in foul, I don't think, tonight. Layla Manship also checks in. Didn't see her get in, so that's a – She's going to give Ava a break. Underneath the Rick and Ball, that one no good. And you know, Craig, on that play right there, that's a, that's a, one of the possessions the Senators have to grab that ball. Yeah. You know, this volleyball season's over. Let's quit tipping it. Grab that ball. So Sturgeon comes back in. That's her for two, Sturgeon. Senators get it over the half court. Then they set up their offense. They get it in the corner to Jayla. Off to Deaton. Deaton going to dribble it back up to the Motion W and get it going. Is it down into Manship, back off to Bat. Around the horn it goes. Thompson down the lane. Nothing going there for her. Schmidt going to go and get fouled. Yeah. Nice move by Schmidt to get open in the lane where yeah. they're able to find her. Great move. 58.3 to go. Schmidt going to go to the line. 63% free throw shooter on the year. That's one thing we talked about, Emma. She just you never you never know where she's going to be at. Yeah. And I know you said last night on the coach's corner, she's just one of those players that maybe you just don't see. And you, you know you may call her get named two or three times one game, may call her named seventeen times the next game. Yeah. And it, and it's just one of those things. I think you called the point ratio or whatever you what is it called the, the plus minus the plus minus. There you go. And she's the leading person for the team with an unbelievable stat. So you know that's that's one thing that she's just a positive player for us. Yeah, and a lot goes into that plus minus. It's it's pretty much the points that are scored while you're on the floor versus the points that are scored by the defense when you're on the floor or by the offense when you're on the floor. So, you know, good things happen when you're in the plus. Yeah, and there she is again on the floor. A little controversy by Lily, and then Emma gets a wrap up with a jump ball. It's going to go Senator Ball. Yep, Senator Ball here. 38 seconds to go in the third quarter. 40 to 30, Senators on top. It's a 10-point lead, 38.1 to go. Hopefully the Senators can get another bucket here. Maybe hold for the last shot of the half, or of the quarter, not the half. Not the half. Thompson brings it over half court. Leaves it off to Meredith. That was a dangerous pass there. Very dangerous. Schmidt kicks it back out to Deaton for three. That one no good. going to be a three-point miss for Meredith and then a tie-up. It's going to go back to the Wolfpack. 21 seconds to go here in the third. Looks like we're going to see a little bit of a pickup pressure at half court on these guards. Looks like we're going to go with a man defense here. Oh, yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, going to be a turnover for the Wolf Pack eight in the quarter in the quarter yeah. for them. Senators now get a shot at the last bucket yeah. here. And Lily, Nine point five to go. Really just doing some a little thing, flipping that ball up a little bit and getting her flustered. Thompson ahead to bat. Bat for three. Oh. That one it. no good. Thompson for two. That one goes oh, up. Yeah. It's no good. So Senators have a three-point opportunity and a two-point opportunity, but are unable to capitalize, but they still go into the fourth quarter with a 10-point lead. We're going to step aside, have a short commercial break from United Producers, and be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc., 
We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to live action here on the Ron Smith Court where the Senators do lead by 10. Ryan, you were you were saying the 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 recipe for victory here. Um, you know, we're up by 10. Crawford has to score 11 in this quarter, which yeah. they haven't done yet in a quarter. Oh, sorry, last quarter they had 12. Yeah. Um, but the Senators had 14. Nine. So it, they haven't outscored us in a quarter yet, and they've got to outscore us by 11 in a quarter. So um, it's a good good thing for the Senators going right now. Hopefully in the fourth they can continue the, the point spread that they've been putting up each quarter, which is between 10 and 14. So yeah. You know, no, no players in real foul trouble on either team, so I'd say something's going to happen on this quarter. Yeah. They're, we're going to have a winner at the end of this buzzer. And I like to see the Senators here in this spread. <laughs> Emma gets tripped. They don't call it, and she's going to get a call for a turnover, a travel. Tra travel there. I like so. how Emma's picking up that ball. Good by Meredith. We got the pressure on now. She was over. Yeah, there we there go. There we go. She was over. There's a turnover for yeah. the Wolf Pack, their ninth of the half. And that's where that's where the Senators all year long. We've talked about them putting the pressure on the ball. And that, you know, pressure on the ball with our long arms and the big girls, you know, that that, that goes a long way. Senators feed that one in the post. Nothing going there. Give it off to Jayla in the corner. Swings it back out oh, top, and then we're going to throw it away. Threw it too hard. So Wolfpack going to take over on the far sideline. On inbounded to Sturgeon in the backcourt. Yeah, we got to keep these girls excited. Here we go. Jayla's got the tip. Oh, it's off the ref, <laughs> and they call it off Jayla. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I guess she would have been the last one to touch it. Yep. Though. Yep. Yeah. We got to get these girls fired up, ready to get that ball. Lily's on it. Hey, that's a touch. Gonna yeah. Be there we Senator go. Ball turnover on the Wolf Pack, number ten for them of the half. 14th of the game. Yeah, Riley House thought that somebody touched it, and, and actually she was the one that touched it wow. on the tip. Senators inbound from a hard place at the end of the bench. Man, that's, that's the worst place to take one out, I would say. Goes into Lily back to Meredith in the corner where she's met by three Crawford defenders. Goes over the top to, yeah. I don't know who, Lily Thompson gets that one. <laughs> Here's where the Senators need to settle down yeah. just a touch. Calm down a little right there. That's not a pass. You know, like I say. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we see we, Jayla yeah, open down yeah, there, but it's yeah. not a pass that we need to yeah, make. Yeah, not from half court. No. No. Luckily, we're still in possession. You know, we've burned a minute off the clock. Comes up top to Deaton. Meredith picks her dribble up. Yeah. I like to see him come up there. Kick that ball back out. Yep, set this back up again. Swings it across to Meredith, down low to Jayla. Jayla, spin move again, up and good for her. 16 on the night for Jayla. Here Crawford we go. quickly back the other way, get their offense set up and going. You know, Lily's playing that strong top key defense there. Oh. Shayla's helping her up instead of rebounding the ball. I don't know what the heck's going on there. <laughs> Good sportsmanship. <laughs> That's two two-point misses. <laughs> oh, 
all kinds of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I believe she hit heads a little yeah. bit or hit her, hit her head on someone. Uh, you know, good good call by the ref to check her out just a little bit. Uh, I hope she's okay. She's going to stay in the game. You can tell she's shaking just a little bit. Yeah, just a little her bit. Her head is wobbling a little. I went ahead to Jayla Bat in the front yeah. court. Then the Senators come back and set up their offense again. Yeah, let's, let's work this ball. Ava wide open, and she's going to get fouled. She's going to get fouled and go to the line. Yeah. Now, we talked about it. Our best free throw shooter we haven't mentioned, and that's Ava Wood. She's yeah. going to the line right now. Yeah, I don't want to jinx her nothing, but Ava has got a rhythm and a shot. That's just she's had the same rhythm and shot throughout the years. I don't know. Since uh, about third grade. I yeah, think. yeah, and, then, and just consistent. She sets that ball up there and looks at it. That one up and good for her, 73% on the year. Right, and the thing about Ava's uh, free throws is, is they usually don't touch the rim. No. Nope. Straight through. Yeah. Senators lead yeah. by 13 here, six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That one up and good. Yeah, good job. She's got four tonight. You can tell Crawford County is flustered. Yeah. There's a cutter down the lane. That is Sturgeon. Yeah, I think that was a travel. She then feeds it off to Stroud. Stroud goes up. Meredith Deaton going to pick up the foul on that one. Going to yeah. be her third. I'd like to see Meredith do something with that ball. I don't like yeah. the ball going towards the basket. Yep. You know, if you're going to move with your feet and know you're moving, let's just hit that ball somewhere. Stroud goes to the line. 71% free throw shooter for her. That one up and good. She's got 14. Second leading scorer in the game, Jayla Bat with 16. Stroud's second one, no good. Thompson chases yep. it down in the corner. Lily catching that one and going. You know, and that's where Ms. Ava, let's just hold the ball here, ladies. Get that ball back out to Shelby and let's yeah. work that thing around. Lily Thompson in the corner. Nice job yeah. not putting that one up. That's something that we, you know, obviously didn't need. You know, we don't, we don't need that pass. Ava Wood's going to pick up her second. Still good on fouls for the Senators. Senators do lead by 13 here. I do believe the last game we called, Craig, there was four foul outs by the Senators. Yeah. Well, I talked to Coach Messamore about that in our uh, Senator Sports Talk, and she said she'd – she didn't think she'd ever been in a game <laughs> where she ran out of players because they had fouled out. I believe it. Two-point miss ball. down there for – Senators went into the trap there, and or the actual full court press, and kind of got beat back there a little bit. It was lucky we missed that – they missed that layup. Yeah. Crawford going to set up baseline out of bounds. Comes back underneath to Sturgeon. Nothing going there for her. Back out to Stroud at the three-point line. Probably not where you want her handling the ball. No. That went off of somebody's foot. I don't know who. We got somebody open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we've got two on Sturgeon out top. Yeah, we're going to get it. There she's trying to post on Lily, and I tell you, Lily ain't going to take it. That's almost an air ball. Oh. oh, wow. That surely was before the shot. That was before the shot. Oh, he counts it. Basket's good for Skylar Howell. She gets a two-point bucket. Ava Woods going to pick up her third. That one no good. Oh, I'll call that over the back. Oh, man. Wow. That's – wow. That's, that was – that's the same riff. I've had the other bad calls. Brett Decker down there telling the coach Messmore, <laughs> not my call, not my call. That yeah. one going to stay with the Senators. Good job by Lily. I'm, Lily's being I'm around still everywhere. in shock at the last call. Yeah, yeah. Senators lead by 11 here, 432. Crawford County takes the ball out of bounds underneath their own bucket. They swing it all the way out top. That was a good steal by Ava because they was going to throw it underneath. No one to block out on the other side. Doesn't Lily matter. She again. doesn't hit it anyway. Lily again. <laughs> Three-point miss. Two-point miss for Crawford. 
Senators able to get the rebound and come out the other way. Up by 11 here. Yeah. Let's play dribble the ball. Swung across over to Bat, back to Griffiths, back to Bat. Over to Woods, power dribble. She's going to go up and get to shoot two free throws again. Yeah, that's great. That's the exact offense we need to run right now, that spread offense. Emery Stroud, her first. Ava Woods goes back to the free throw line. That's one of those we need to run that offense and keep running that offense. Make Crawford come and foul us. Up and good for Ava. She's got five. Yep. Here comes Jayla out of the game. I'm not sure why. My guess is she's going to get about 30 seconds here and yeah. go right back in. Yeah. That one up and good for Ava. She's got six. Don't foul. Yeah. There we go. Travel. Yeah. Turnover number 11 of the half. It's hard to watch those hands go in, but <laughs> as a ref, you're watching the feet probably a little bit more than the hands. Yeah. Ball comes inbounds back to Meredith Deaton. Couple of dribbles to the center. Thompson meets that one ahead to hot roll. Adele yeah. Brown back to Deaton. This yeah, is exactly what we need to do. Let's work run that this clock. offense. Let's work that clock. Oh. And Shelby and Meredith run into each other. They call over and back after he decides what to call. <laughs> <laughs> So that's going to be turnover number 10 for the Senators. Senators lead by 13, 328 here to go in the fourth. Matthew Deaton tore up on the other side over there. I just <laughs> there's, talked. there's a lot of dads I, over I, there I, tore I, up. I, <laughs> we talked about earlier the noise cancellation. I'm pretty sure that the yelling you can hear on the radio might be Matthew. Yeah. So that's going to be a turnover back the other way. This official that's the – is having a little trouble, is asking for help a lot. Yeah, so. yeah right. I, I think this is the third time that they blowed the whistle and then looked at each other like, what do we call? Yeah. I'm I just not a fan of that. Goes ahead to Adele, hands it back off to Shelby. Nice job back over to Meredith. Three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Going to yeah. give it off to Shelby. Shelby trying to get somewhere. Comes over to Meredith. Going to be a 30-second timeout. We're going to stick with you right here in this 30-second timeout. Senators up 13, 2.54 to go here in the game. Um, you know, the Senators playing some good basketball. Come out really hot in the start of the third quarter. Kind of cooled off a little bit, but now they're playing, they're playing the kind of offense that they need to right, to control right. the ball and win this game. Yes, it, sir. Crawford's got to come after him. Crawford's got to score. 14 points in the last three minutes, right. which is asking a lot of any team to do. And then they've got to hold the Senators scoreless. Right. Right. And that's where the Senators has got to – we can't, you know, just like the last possession there, we can't run into each other. And yeah, the we've got go to play smart. we got to be smart. we got to play yeah. smart. Unless you have a wide open layup, you know, let's let's make sure that ball stays where it needs to stay at. Yeah. Again, you know, we got Meredith taking it out. I, I'm just not a fan of that. Ball comes into Shelby. Shelby going to bring it across the half court, and I'm sure as soon as she does, she's going to get trapped. They bring a trap to her. Meredith back to Shelby. Shelby over to Lily Thompson. Thompson with the dribble down the lane. No go there. Puts yeah. that one up. It's no good. All right, and there we go again, Craig. We talked about this. What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, we, we don't need <laughs> we, that bucket. We, we, we need, need to run the drive. time off the clock That's more than exactly we need Exactly right. the bucket. So 2.36 to go. And we're going to get a cheap foul. Yeah, I don't know who that one's on. Is that on Lily? It's on Lily. That's yep. the ref that calls the terrible foul. So. That's the third, or sorry, the fourth foul of the half. So going to be Crawford County ball out of bounds. They feed it underneath. Nobody touches that. So going to be Senator Ball, turnover yeah. number 13 of the half.
They're going to throw it to Lily, and she's going to get it. Lily breaks that Lily's pressure. Lily's got to use her speed. And she's you see, Craig, like, I don't think that's a travel. If you yeah. pick the ball up and you stay on that pivot foot, it's not a travel until your other foot comes up in the air. So Crawford County going to take over. That's going to be turnover number 11 for the Senators. Yeah, keep Jack here, Shelby. Shelby runs them back to the back court, and that's where we need them to be at. Yeah. Shelby's Let's done a really nice job on Madison Sturgeon tonight. Yeah. Jayla almost takes an elbow to the face there. Yeah. Sturgeon for three. We that one's short. Out. Jayla Bat with the rebound. Kind of sloppy on our passes. Chris. Yeah, we're, we're not really we're, we are getting throwing very, it real hard. Very brave. Very brave. I get it back to Meredith. 146 to go here. Senator's going to take a 30 second timeout. Not sure why we uh, call it. Full timeout, timeout there, apparently. Well, we're going to step aside for a, our last commercial break of the night, hopefully, and then we'll be back with more action here in just a moment. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Back to action here on Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead by 13. We're going to do exactly what we've said for the past two games. You know, have somebody other than Meredith Deaton take this ball out of bounds. Yeah. I just think it's a better move. You know, that way we got the height on the inbound. There she is. Ball comes in to Meredith. Couple of dribbles. Nice job by her. She better get rid of that ball. Them refs are counting. Yeah. Lily Thompson, nothing going yeah. there. Going to be a turnover. And then she's going to compound it, yep. picking up that foul. So going to be her third. We had 14 seconds come off the clock yeah, there. She got four, Craig. Does she have four? She got four. Oh, man, I missed one. Two in the first quarter. And got two here mm. in the fourth quarter. So Rickenbaugh going to go to the line. 65% free throw shooter on the year. Senators need to stay out of foul trouble now. Yeah. That's the we can't get Meredith or Jayla or Ava to foul out here in the last minute. That brings her into double digits. She's got 10. Lead cut to 12. Minute 30 to go. Second one. That one's up and good. Ball comes into Griffiths. Swings it across the top over to Deaton. Deaton all the way in the front court to Thompson. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, there we go. Probably That's knocked her down. <laughs> If you knock someone down, that's yeah. got to be a foul. Yeah. So Riley House going to pick up her second. Senators still up 11. 81 seconds to go here. Yeah, I like how you say that, 81 seconds. Well, we're working let's, on, let's talk in seconds. We're working on time in fourth grade, so talk about converting minutes to seconds. Yeah, and Lily has got to quit throwing those yeah. silly passes. That's got to be a hard pass. That's, that's about her seventh pass that she's just lazily thrown that we got to clean up. 76 seconds. Ball comes in to Shelby Griffiths yeah, in the backcourt. They're going to guard Shelby. Yeah, so. don't guard Shelby. That'll be fine. Whoa, oh, I didn't see there? that one. Thompson up. Good. Good for her. And you know we can eight. take those shots like that. Lily sees a wide open layup. The defense has no clue that she's even yeah. there. I'm okay with those shots. That's a banked in three for Skylar Howe. Back to Deaton. You know, I think I'm pretty sure that uh, you know, Crawford County is going to have to foul at some point here. Shelby, Shelby Griffiths with the rebound off the woods. And what are we doing, girls? Meredith there Deaton go. goes and gets the ball. She's on the W. 
Gives it off to yeah. Shelby Griffiths. Crawford County's not going to foul. He's going to take his defeat, I believe. Comes back out top to Jayla. 24 seconds. Going to be a push on Rick and Ball. Going to be her third. Still one more to give. Senators up 10 here with 21 seconds to go. I think Jayla's going to take it out this time. Assuming they're going to do a backcourt to Shelby again. Gets in the front court to Shelby. Jayla's got the ball, a couple yeah. of dribbles. There we go. That's that's where we want the ball, yep, right, right there. there. Let's just hold it, girls. Nice there job by the Senators. They end the nine-game win streak of Crawford here uh, in this matchup. The Senators are victorious tonight, 48 to 38. Senators just too much for the Wolfpack tonight, not able to um, really get anything going. Like I said, they are without one of their um, primary uh, scores, Madison Sturgeon does play tonight, but doesn't get the normal minutes that she does. So break down the scoring that we've got. Lily Thompson comes in, has eight in her uh, start. Emma Schmidt has three. Jayla Bat with 16. Meredith Deaton with eight. Shelby Griffiths with four. Adele Brown with three. Ava Woods with six. The Crawford County Wolfpack only have four players score. Emery Stroud has 14. Skyler Howell has eight. Madison Sturgeon has five in limited minutes. And Kylie Rickenball with 11. So shooting stats for the Senators. They are four of six from the free throw line for 66%. They are six of 11 for 55% from two-point range. Two of six from three-point range for 33%. So overall, they're eight of 17 for 47% in the game. Uh, Crawford County is 3 of 6 for 50% from the free throw line. They are 4 of 12 from two-point range. They're 3 of 6 from three-point range, so 7 of 18 in the second half for 38%. Here's the big one. I, you're not going to believe this one, and my stats may be wrong, but they're official for live stream at the moment. Um, Senators have 11 rebounds in the second half. Crawford only has three. Really? Yeah, that's what I've got them for. Oh. So. The unofficial official West Washington live stream stats have West Washington for 11, Crawford for three. Um, turnovers, 12 for the Senators, 13 for the Wolfpack. So, um, you know, Senators play a really good game tonight and are able to come out of here with a win, 48-38 over Crawford County, and they make that PLAC championship a mess at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a disaster, you know. And, it, and you know, coming out, coming out here, we knew it was going to be a hard-fought battle, and we wanted, you know, Crawford County wanted to get up and down, and, you know, the Senators come out and, and, and they did the fundamental stuff. You know, we boxed out, we rebounded, we got, you know, we got the people where we needed to. We ran through our offense and found the right people to score. So with that, lots of action here. Over the weekend, we've got two boys games. Uh, they play Springs Valley on Friday night. So that's tomorrow. We'll be live with action. JV starts at 6. Then we'll have the um, varsity to follow that. Then um, South Central comes in on Saturday. Once again, start time at 6, varsity to follow. If you've got nothing going on Sunday, come on out. Watch some, some uh, elementary basketball. We've got multiple teams here. I believe there's like 50-some teams yeah, or 60-some teams. It's a, it's a ton of basketball out yeah. here. So got nothing to do on Sunday. Come out and support your uh, elementary senators out yeah. here. Ryan, final thoughts of the night? Hey, you know what, Craig? We came out here and we did just what we talked about, keeping the bigs out of foul trouble, kept up on our toes. We had deflections. And I tell you that we didn't talk about that before the game, but we did have those deflections. We talked about it up here behind the behind the yeah. cameras, but, you know, we, we talked about the deflections that we needed that Orleans beat us with was those deflections. And, you know, we had some points off turnovers this time instead of, like, going down and, and maybe working our offense and losing the ball. Uh, you know, just, just an outstanding performance by the Senators tonight. I think they came out and played hard. They played good. Uh, just a great win, and, and uh, congratulations to the Lady Senators tonight on this big win. And, and uh, you know, like I say, it's very rare that we come out here and have one player on the team in double digits. 
and still win a ball game. But I tell you, we had a, a round, a balance of scoring. If you look at the scoring, you take Jayla's 16 out, we had a balance of scoring, you know, good minutes and good good uh, possessions for the Senators. Some key shots there by Hot Roll and, you know, Emma Schmidt coming in there and getting a foul, you know, getting 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 fouled and, and, and won. And Shelby had one of those also. And, and uh, you know, Meredith, just when she eyes that three, it's going in. So, yeah. you know, great job by the Senators. Congratulations to the coaching staff there tonight. Uh, big win here in the tournament. You know, Crawford County goes down tonight here on the Ron Smith Field. Yeah, so like I said, we'll be back with more action tomorrow. That's all the time we've got tonight, so we're going to send it back over to regular programming. We'll see you tomorrow.